All right, guys, welcome back to another daily demo. Uh, I'm going to be doing a slightly more advanced lesson for you today on how to use Autodesk Sketchbook. Remember, that is a free download. It will run on iPhone, iPad, Android, tablets, Chromebooks, regular computers. But always, of course, make sure you've got permission from parents before you download anything. So today we're going to talk about how to add texturing and how to use selection tools. And if that doesn't sound very interesting, just wait, because they are amazing. And I'm not even gonna scratch the surface today. So trust me, you're gonna to wanna to follow through this. Okay, so again, we're gonna look back at the, the face drawings that we've been making from our photographs. Today, I'm gonna to add some texturing. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna show you is on the beard. I wanna kind of make it look like hair. I'm not gonna draw in every little thing, but we're wanna, to give it a little bit more of an interesting look than just that flat painted effect. So I'm gonna tap over here on, see the little pencil thing at the top of the tools menu? You're gonna click on that says the settings over there right next to it in gray is the word library so tap on library and now i've got a whole lot more choices and i'm going to scroll way way down uh, and there is actually a little group in here called texture you could use anything that you want this is what i'm going to pick from and this one right here on the third row is actually called hair i think that's the hair one yeah grab this one it's going to call hair so now that i've got my hair brush selected uh I'm gonna click over there on the color. This is the color brown that I've got from the beard, right? Now, when you're adding texture, you want the color of your texture to be close to the color you're adding to, but not exactly, so that you can see it, but it doesn't like jump out. It's one of those things you wanna kinda of, sorta of see a little bit on most textures. Some textures, you want them to be crazy, but especially on stuff that we wanna look mostly real, you want the colors to be close. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here to my color, uh, and if you are looking at that, down there on the little gray rectangle, you can click on this thing that says HSL. That stands for Hue, Saturation, and Light, I think. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down to that bottom one, the, the, the light slider, um, and I'm gonna make this just a tiny bit brighter. You see how it's on 18 right now? So I'm gonna just bring that up to, well, let's say, mine landed on about 23. Uh, and the saturation, I'm gonna bring it up just a tiny bit. It went from 45 to 48, so just teeny tiny bit. You want it to be different, but not super different. So now I'm gonna come back to my picture. I'm gonna put my finger up here in this little circle and slide it just to make sure I've got a big enough size, and that looks about right to me. And I'm gonna make sure I'm going all the way up to the opacity. Now, the problem is, if I start tapping, See how it kind of runs off the beard. So I'm gonna create what's called a selection. It's gonna work kind of like a force field. Let me go back. And that way everything inside my selection, I will be able to, uh, I'll be able to color inside the selection and not have to worry about protecting the stuff that's outside of it. So the first thing actually that I'm gonna do no, so the first thing that I need to do is to go to my selection menu, which is this little square thing right here. See how it says selection up there. Now, what you want is that third one, that's the magic wand. Magic wand means it does the hard part for you. It means if you tap on a color, it's gonna find everything next to it that's that same color, and it's gonna put a force field around it, okay? So I'm gonna tap on the brown in my beard. Make sure I've got the magic wand. It looks like a little pointer touching an egg. Make sure I've got the magic wand selected. Tap inside the beard, and you see now those little dotted lines. It's got everything that's touching that same color selected. Uh, so what that means is I can color inside. I can go crazy all over the place, and it won't let any of this new color go outside that area. So I'm going to make this brush a little bigger, and I'm going to make the color a tiny bit brighter when we were doing that a minute ago. So was it 23? It's now 26. Maybe put that around 50, 51. We'll see how this looks, okay? And you can just sort of tap until you f you know for sure that you like what you're seeing. Ah, that looks pretty good. Okay, so that's a good sort of medium texture. And as I'm getting over here on the side, I'm gonna leave it a little bit darker because I want, I want this side to be, you know, like my light's coming from over there, so I want this side to be a little darker than the other side, so I'm not gonna put as much of the lighter texture on this side. So I might touch this color again, slide these over just a tiny bit more, and give it a little bit of highlight texture just right there along the edge. 
So now I've got the brighter light coming from that way. And the same thing again, I'm gonna come back in. Remember, if you take your finger and you long hold on a spot, whoops, long hold on a spot, it's gonna pull up this. This is the color picker. You can grab that color again. I'm gonna tap on the square. I'm gonna come back now, I'm gonna go the other way. I'm gonna pull it back a little bit lower. That light is at 18. So I'm gonna go down to maybe 14. That saturation, I'm gonna bring that down just a little bit. Uh, and I'm just gonna tap on this side just to fill in a little bit of a darker texture coming from the other way. So the light's coming from that side and the dark shadows are gonna be coming from this way. Okay, pretty good. Maybe a little bit on the side of my mustache there because that's also gonna be darker. Okay, so now we're gonna do the same thing on the face. I'm gonna have to create that protective force field because again, if I come up here with any color and try to color on the face, nothing happens. It will only color inside that protective field. You'll see how that works. So let me back that up. So I've got to put that field now on the face if I want to add a texture to the face. So what I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the selection menu. Uh, I'm going to hit the, this, this box right here with the X that has cleared my selection. So now the force field is no longer around the beard and I've still got my magic wand selected, so it's gonna now let me pick a new one. So I'm just gonna tap right in the middle of the face, and now with everywhere that's selected, all of that skin color area, now I'm gonna be able to color on that. So again, I'm gonna start with the color that I've got. I'm gonna long hold on a spot. It's gonna give me my color picker, and just gonna drop it right where I want that color. And now I'm gonna click on the color so I can come into this menu and change it a little bit. Um, now, to add texture to skin, Skin is never perfectly smooth, even on the youngest of the young people. It's never exactly one color. But you got to be careful. If you add too much texture or too much color difference, it makes you look like you have a rash or something. You want skin to have just a tiny little suggestion of texture, but not too much. Okay, so I'm going to change the color. On here, I'm going to bring the darkness down just a few points, and I'm gonna bring the saturation down just a few points. Uh, and so hopefully that'll give us, you can see there at the top, the little two side-by-side -side things. Um, hopefully that'll give us just enough texture to see a difference here. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to my tools library. Uh, this time I'm gonna scroll down, and I'm going to grab this tool right here, which is called Splatter. I'm gonna make my brush nice and big, and we're just gonna tap and see. Yeah, that's pretty good. You see how it sort of gives it a more natural looking texture. I don't know if it's, it's even dark enough for you guys to see. I'm gonna make it a tiny bit darker over here on the right side. Just remember the light's coming from the other direction. And I think that is good. Looks like we've got a textured face. Maybe give it just a tiny bit of highlight on the other side. Just a teeny tiny bit. Because the light's coming from that way. Just the tip of the nose. All right, there we are. First lesson in texture. I'm gonna be going a little bit deeper into some of the digital painting techniques, uh, hopefully in the next coming days. Uh, but for right now, I think you guys have enough to get started. Bye.